So there I was, a couple of days ago, on my way down to Cornwall, and I thought, let's take a little side trip. A detour to somewhere that I haven't been since I was a child. A place that's both beautiful and amazing, and provides really, really strong evidence against young earth creationism. Hello and welcome to Cheddar Gorge, Somerset, England. Just about the first thing I saw was the original Cheddar Cheese Company, the first genuine Cheddar Cheese Depot in the world. And this shop, now world famous, is still family operated and it's the home of Cheddar Cheese in Somerset, England. A few metres away is what we've come for, Goff's Cave. The cave is 115 metres deep and about 3.4 kilometres long. It's got lots of different chambers and rock formations and is home to the Cheddar Yo, the largest underground river system in the UK. In 1903, some workers discovered a nearly complete skeleton, the oldest complete skeleton discovered in Britain. He is now known as Cheddar Man. His skeleton has been radiocarbon dated on two separate occasions, giving calibrated dates of between 8540 and 7990 BC and 8470 to 8230 BC. Basically, this skeleton is around 10,000 years old, which doesn't really equate with a 6,000 year old young earth. Here is a Speleothem mineral deposit cascading down the walls of the cave. This is more what we've come to see, but a little more on that later. Now this is important. The Cheddar Cheese Company ages many of its cheeses in the caves. Some of them for up to 30 months. The idea with cave aged cheese is the environment. It's constant, it's cool, it has a high humidity that is perfect for making cave aged cheddar cheese. Mm. Now this is why we have come to Goff's Cave. We've come to see the stalactites and stalagmites. Just to help you remember, stalactites have a C and a T in the word for ceiling or top and stalagmites have a G for ground. So how exactly are these beautiful rock formations formed? Well, rainwater, as it passes through organic material, picks up carbon dioxide gas, creating a weak carbonic acid. This weak acid water slowly seeps through joints and cracks in the limestone of the cave roof. As it does so, it dissolves calcite from the limestone rock. Eventually, this water with the dissolved rock is exposed to the air as it reaches the ceiling of the cave. And just like with a can of coke, as you open it, it releases carbon dioxide gas. That degasses. Calcite that was dissolved in the water then precipitates out and is deposited on the cave ceilings and on the floors. Those deposits slowly, slowly build up, forming stalactites and stalagmites. So how slow is slow? Well, the average growth rate for limestone stalactites is 0.13 millimetres a year. However, it's quite typical, and in the case of Goff's Cave, for the stalactites to grow at a rate of around one centimetre in a thousand years. So what do young earth creationists say? Well, many of their websites actually show this sort of thing. These are stalactites that form under modern concrete structures, such as bridges, etc. These stalactites that form under the concrete, however, are formed from a different solution. The solution that passes through the concrete is a saturated solution of calcium hydroxide, whereas in the example of the caves, it's calcium bicarbonate. A major difference between the two is their solubility. Calcium carbonate is virtually insoluble at about 0.013 grams per litre at 25 degrees centigrade, but calcium hydroxide is much more soluble 1.59 grams per litre saturated solution at 25 degrees centigrade. So yes, they grow much, much more quickly. The level of dishonesty is about the equivalent to claiming that as icicles grow over a matter of a few days, the earth is just over a week old. 
so bearing in mind that the Gough Cave stalactites are growing at about a rate of one centimeter per 1,000 years, you have to explain with regard to a young earth how structures of this magnitude could have been formed. So if you are ever in Somerset, England, I would highly recommend a visit to Goff's Cage in Cheddar Gorge. I think it's time for a little trip. Just where do you think you're off to? I'm going to take a quick spin up Cheddar Gorge. It's a bit like the Paths of the Dead. You're not going to come with me this time, Gimli. You might as well accept it. We're going with you, laddie. 